Good evening and welcome to this year's presentation for Sixth Form Open Evening. Hopefully you will have a chance to read these slides and listen to the presentation before you come to the actual physical evening, where you will be able to ask questions of specific subject stuff regarding the A-levels that we offer. We have a lot to offer at Morden College and we are an expanding Sixth Form. Hopefully you are feeling excited about joining us and please do make sure on the evening you ask any questions. I'm Kirsty Bowers and I'm Director of Sixth Form here at Magdalen College School. As in lower school, we have timetabled lessons in Sixth Form that are split into three two-hour sessions per day and they include your breaks. You will As I've already mentioned, everybody does extended project qualification. This is an absolutely incredible project. You can do either a dissertation, produce an artifact, a presentation, a performance or you can do a field study. This is an independent project meaning that whilst you have a supervisor it's completely up to you what you choose to study and it develops a huge amount of skills sought by universities and employers. Independent research, referencing, presenting, time management, all of these things are really great skills to learn. You will have two hours per fortnight of school guidance and then you are expected to work outside of lessons as well. And there are a couple of examples of previous projects that we have put through. This qualification can also lead to offer um, requirements being lowered by universities if you do well in it. So it really does help support you with your studies and especially if you are doing subjects that require you to write essays.
Our highest achieving students may well be invited to take part in the Magdalen Wayne Fleet Scholarship. This is run in conjunction with our sister school at MCS Oxford and it is an independent academic research project that produces a 5,000 word dissertation. It is highly academic and it can be in any topic you wish. You will get support from the professors and lecturers at MCS Oxford and also from Oxford University. So it is highly prestigious and if you talk about it on any personal statement, universities will be impressed. We have quite a lot of space down at St John's in the Thomas Godwin Centre or the TGC for independent study sessions. You can also use the library up at top site where Miss Houghton is able to help you with any queries you may have. Mr Percival, our study support manager, is in charge of the study centre and he is there to guide you in establishing your independent working. As I've already said, during this time you'll do your homework, revision and subject reading. And Mr Percival is there to support you throughout, as this is a skill that you will have to learn. On your timetable, you will also have some sessions that are freeze. These are things that do not have anything timetabled in them. During this time, you are able to go home if you wish, or you can stay in school and study. We do not advise that you do a part time job during this time, as you need to use all available sessions to support your learning. You will also be asked to do one session of volunteering across the fortnight to help out in school. This could be helping in a lesson, a homework club or after school. And this is to give something back to the community, to raise aspirations of our younger students and to give you things to write on your CV or UCAS entries later on to show that you are able to do something outside of your studies. It's a really valuable way for you to learn skills and also to inspire our younger students. So on top of all of these things that you have on offer to you, we also have an enrichment programme. There are opportunities in sixth form that we strongly advise that you take advantage of. So mentoring other students in younger years, volunteering, as we've already mentioned. There's also the opportunity for you to become a student leader, a head boy, head girl, and student representatives. We have a plethora of clubs that students are able to join. In year 12, you will do work experience. And it is also an opportunity for you to run your own club should you wish to. All students take part in the Reading Buddies programme as part of tutor time. Tutor time is still compulsory. We provide a huge amount of support for people to take their next steps in sixth form. This starts after Christmas in year 12 and we guide you towards universities, apprenticeships or work depending on where your interests lie. We really want you to make the right choices, but we want you to make the right informed choices. So we work very hard with lots of outside agencies to give you that support and help you on your next steps. We also provide support for parents and run information evenings and point you in the direction of useful webinars that might help you with supporting your students through their journey. We have absolutely outstanding support from staff in sixth form. You will have a dedicated sixth form tutor. We have our attendance and admin support from Mrs Ansel, pastoral support assistant Mrs Chambers and wellbeing support from outside agencies. This is alongside Mr Percival in the study centre. So wrapping around the care of students is really important to us and our pastoral and academic support is second to none. Don't just take my word for it about how good our sixth form is. Over the next couple of slides, you'll be able to hear directly from our sixth formers about their experience so far. The main difference from GCSE to A-levels is the amount of subjects that you take is reduced. 
This means that you spend more time studying subjects that you've chosen, so it's kind of important that you like them. Um, another difference is that on your timetable you'll have a certain amount of um, study periods. Some of these are um, supported and then some of them are free for you to do what you wish with them. So I'd say that those are the main two differences, but they're a welcome change. What I enjoy most about the sixth form is the flexibility that the study sessions provide. It means you get to choose what you want to do and structure your time in a way that's much more suited to you and how you learn. Another opportunity that's provided in the sixth form is the opportunity to become part of the student leadership team. This is open at the second half of year 12 and allows you to apply for roles to, which would carry out during year 13. This is a great stepping stone and will help you understand and learn about the responsibilities of adult life. In terms of the workload from GCSE to A-levels, it does increase slightly, but at the same time you're reducing the amount of subjects you're taking, so your study becomes much more subject specific and um, you can basically pick what you do when with the study periods previously mentioned. Um, it is more challenging, but it is very rewarding when you get it right and it does have big payoffs. When choosing your A-levels, you should look for A-level subjects which you enjoy because you'll be studying them in much greater detail throughout the course. If you've already started looking ahead towards unis or apprenticeships or other future career paths, then you should also look for A-levels which may be relevant or help contribute towards those courses as you may need them for entry requirements. In terms of support in sick form, um, when you have your scheduled study periods, we have Mr Percival who is the TGC manager and he's available during this time all day um, for advice um, when it comes to studying and especially when it comes to university applications, he's the person that you go to if you need any help with your personal statement or even just applying. Um, we also have Miss Chambers who is the pastoral support assistant, she's always there, her, doors is, her door is always open and you can just go in if you have any worries um, or if Mrs Bowers isn't available who's head of sick form, she's the person you go to. So yeah, there is a lot of support, you'll never be put in a hard situation with no one to help you. We truly believe that we are an exceptional sick form and we are growing in numbers each year. We hope to welcome you in September next year and we look forward to seeing you on open evening.